Hi everyone, welcome back. I'm Honeywell and we're playing Overcrowd again. Uh, Overcrowd is an early access game on Steam. I like it a lot and want to play more of it, so here we are. Links are in the description if you want to check it out, but let's uh, jump right in. We're going to go ahead and generate a new campaign. Uh, the seed will be Honeywell.v2, I believe is a good one. Let's see what we have. Oh, well, this is interesting. Uh, we're starting out over here, so there's a little bit of a leapfrog going on. So we'll go zone 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Uh, we'll go ahead and play on hard mode just like we did for consistency's sake. And uh, what we're not going to be doing is uh, racing to the end. I don't even know if we'll get to the end. I just felt like playing, and yeah, so here we are. Uh, but this will be very much a relaxed and a laid, -back, laid back playthrough, I think. Uh, we already know this Wrangler's Corner. It's not busy and there is few problems with litter. So uh, let's jump right in See what we get. Uh, I expect this map to be uh, very easy. Lots of free tiles We'll get eased into the game We'll go ahead and uh, hit pause and yeah, we have a ton of free tiles Easy entrances the goal is uh, to build a flat platform and then we'll have to ship uh, a certain number of commuters uh, nice and easy our all of our street entrances are on the ground floor so are our train tracks we have lots of tiles so it's a no-brainer we are going to be starting uh, building from here and uh, it takes me it takes me actually a long time to build not because it's hard but because I uh, overthink it <laughs> so while I go ahead and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do that and I'll bring you back once we have our little uh, starter station ready to go okay here we are our starter station is just about ready we have our exit right here our entrance around this way um, we have lots of trash cans dotted around strategically um, over here we have our utility room break room tool room I left room to expand our tool room, although we're not going to need it. Um, but we might be revisiting this map. I don't know. Uh, we also have a, a break room. Again, we're probably not going to need it because we're not going to be able to afford any amenities on this level, I don't think. Uh, it's been, a, it's been a, a week or so since I played this level. Um, four generators is usually enough to get us started. Now we have these uh, free tiles here, which are great, but... Uh, sometimes uh, if they're in your way you can go ahead and just use your sculpt uh, train tool and you can um, you can lower them like for instance right here if I wanted another wall piece um, what is it we can go ahead and lower that down and now I have more wall available to me when we get uh, the option in procurements to uh, purchase staff only zone once we get some more bonds I'm not going to waste our first two bonds on that uh, we can put some uh, caution tape along this corridor here and then we can open up this uh, wall over here as well and we'll have that way staff can go uh, circle around this way uh, if we do expand the the station we'll have to put in another utility room but this one is centrally located so it's good for the trash regardless if there's no potential to expand it so we can fit more generators oh my god can I talk <laughs> let's spend our two bonds um, this has not changed. I think the best investment of your first two bonds is lighting and billboards. So let's put in some uh, lighting and billboards. Okay, that is the lighting in. I usually um, dot my lights around my trash cans. Uh, that usually disperses everything pretty well, lights up everything. And now we need billboards. Billboards, we need to leave a little bit of money um, because we have to purchase staff and staff are much more expensive now uh, but we're still we have 5,000 and if you look at your list of um, to do items here it's a very forgiving level it's meant to get you uh, set up and on your way so there is uh, a thousand for building one platform and then another thousand for when you open your doors so even if we were to spend every last dollar we still get two thousand pounds when we open the door so I am going to uh, splurge on our billboards and I'll bring you back. And there we go. Uh, yeah, just a, a thousand pounds in uh, billboards, well worth it. Now I can turn this around and these walls that are cut away 
uh, right here, we could absolutely add um, billboards to these sidewalls. But the only way that I would do that is if we were desperate for money, just because I want it to look nice. And I don't think it would look nice uh, with those signs hanging in the air. Uh, maybe it would be nice if if these uh, wall signs uh, were to cut away, uh, depending on the angle that you're facing. Do you know what I mean? Cut away like the walls do. Uh, that might be something. But yeah, we have advertising, we have lights, we have trash cans. That's all that we have available to us. So we are ready to open up our station. Open it up. Yay! Love the sound effects in this game. Anyone who complains about them is crazy. They're amazing. So now we're back up to uh, 6,000 pounds, tons of money. You'll also notice that I don't push anything up against the walls. It leaves more room for advertising. And like if I put a trash can right here, I, I would think that your little commuters would have more access to it. More people would use it than if I pushed it against the wall. I don't know if that actually works, but that's what I do. Now everybody wants newspapers because they all of these uh, newspaper advertisements, but we just don't have uh, the bonds for them yet, so that is going to wait. Let's speed this up and maybe uh, get down here and look at these people. You can zoom in nice and close, but I can't because then you can't see. Oh, look at that. We have six bonds. Let's start procuring here. Uh, carriage. All the time. Unless I mess something up. Always carriages. So now we have carriages. We still have two more. Um, and we're going to go ahead and go with a newspaper stand. Keep the commerce theme flowing here. And along with our newspaper stand, we're going to put one right here and one right here. Now with the commerce, uh, the commuters treat these areas as distinctly different. Um, they cannot see what's beyond the turnstiles and vice versa. So anything that you put in your lobby area, you'll want to put on your platform as well. I mean, you don't have to. It's not needed. And then with, we're going to be interested in trying to uh, balance out our prices eventually on all of our uh, goods. But for right now, we want some uh, nice, easy reputation. So we're going to go ahead and uh, lower our, our prices of our new newspapers a couple ticks. And people will uh, be happy about getting a bargain. And of course, we're still making a profit. Three pounds on each paper. So that does not matter to us. And we have lots of people. We have one more bond. What do we want? Nothing for staff. We don't have staff yet. I think we need to save it. Because if a disaster event happens, we'll need to uh, purchase it. Can we get a plant? Not yet. Plants are next. Let's look at staff and see if we have... Oh, we have two people. Wow, these are good. Lexi Lewis and Amelia Phillips. Lexi has... Oh, they are so good. They're both so good. Do we get both of them and just go for it? She has, she'll have three equipment spots and she's fast. She needs work on her perception. Uh, but that is something that we absolutely can work with. And between the two of them, this station does not need these two at all. Let's hold off a minute before we get them. Yeah, let's just hire them. No, we're going to hold off. <laughs> I'm so decisive here. We're going to hold off a little bit uh, before we we bring these two on because I don't have any way to um, to restore their needs and we don't need them yet but we are absolutely before we leave this level we want to make sure we have what uh, 3,000 pounds saved up so we can we can bring these two on board they're a great starting pair because they complement each other really well uh, Lewis needs work on stamina and Amelia needs work on perception but other than that they're awesome love this so lucky let's go I'm excited one of the great things that I really like about the the game is the the staffing that you bring them with you from station to station. It reminds me of like an RPG where 
you know, you, you start out with your, like, one little person, and as you bring them along, they level up. Lots of fun. The only thing that I wish that they had with the staffing is I wish that you could actually equip them with, like, a little hats or uniforms. Get rid of the tags over their head. Put them in, like, little distinct outfits. <laughs> I don't know. Like, armor. <laughs> Whatever. And then... And then let you drag and drop your tools into the equipment slots. Do you know what I mean? And then put that staff up on the bar above here. But I know that there are, Oh, we have tons of bonds now. Let's see. We are going to go ahead and splurge on this staff-only zone. Yeah, because we don't need it. I mean, we might even... We might even get out of the zone without even needing any employees, but we'll see. And then... Next, we want plants. Lights and plants will uh, make your commuters very happy. So we want to do those. Now, the lights take power uh, to run, and the plants are very labor-intensive. You have to have an employee buy, uh, buy a watering can, juggle it around. It's, uh, but it's worth it, I think. Uh, so we're going to do that right by the door. And then right over here I think when they get off the train is a good spot do we want one more just in case they missed it no let's let's be mindful of the staff what the staff is gonna have to do so we'll keep those uh we'll keep the plants down but now we have nice plants our reputation is going up nicely we're at 67 and do you know what I think these little sims were sims these our little commuters were saying I think they were supposed to be saying no shops not no shoes but either are it's pretty interesting nice plant 68 percent even though it's crowded yeah we're just gonna let it go with this Oh, and what did we buy? We bought that staff only zone. So let's um let's put in a floor tile over here. And now let's put in our staff only marker. And let's do the same here. We'll put a staff only marker there and now we'll you know exactly what I'm doing even though I can't talk. <laughs> So when we get theoretical staff, they can just go ahead and zip around there. I like it. Now I haven't, I don't know how we're going to hook up this street and this other train track, but, or even if we'll revisit this level, I mean, zone five is pretty, is pretty straightforward, but it might be nice to come back once we have like some little carts and stuff and see if uh, these commuters will like that. I don't know. Will they even have money for that? If we look on our report screen, where? Oh no, they have lots of money. So if we got some, uh, so if we got some vending machines and stuff in here, they might be able to uh, actually take advantage of that. I can't believe we don't have, we didn't buy any um any staff yet. Oh, you know what? But we should get staff in here. How many more people? We still have uh 40 more people to ship. Let's it is now time for our staff. So uh let's do it. We have 10 bond. What is going on? The camera is slipping away from me. I have no idea. Um let's go ahead and and buy staff and who is Lexi is going to be our king, I think. Yes. Right. 47. Uh, no, let's bring in. <laughs> They're both the same. Let's bring in Amelia. Phillips is going to be our king. And then Lexi will be our uh, number two here. So now we have an employee. We're going to need to buy tools. So let's go ahead and uh, take care of that. We'll need a litter picker. 
for that trash can that's overflowing and we need a megaphone because uh, small stations with megaphones run much better otherwise the overcrowding is uh, gets out of control so let's uh let's hook Phillips up we'll go ahead and trash first and then the megaphone we'll get her out here call our train And we have plenty of money to uh, bring Lexi on board with us. It's, an, it's a nice station. But why is it because I didn't... And that's the thing. If your little people aren't doing what you want them to, chances are you messed something up. <laughs> chances are you do not understand or you messed something up. Okay, let's get our uh, trash can there. Now Phillips will go ahead and take care of that trash. And look, all those people get off the um, the train. They love our plants. Absolutely worth uh, having to buy a water can and take care of that. Good job. Phillips, get back out there and uh, spread sparkles and joy to everybody. New gold, build a staff vending machine. Reputation over 75%, nice. Um. We have Jaws music. <laughs> Something bad's going on. Um, you know what? Let's go ahead and buy all this stuff. We're not going to regret it. And if we ever re revisit the station, we'll have these items. Maybe not the uncomfy chairs. Um... Did something change? Right click up here. Okay, that's better. Management, let's set her to auto rest. And she is doing well with all of her stats still, so, so we have nothing to worry about. But let's put some things in our staff room. There we go. We have a nice uh, water cooler. Leave a spot for a TV. Built staff vending machine. And we're getting money for this. That's one of the reasons why we're doing that. Uh, shift 91 commuters. Yeah, we're not going to... Oh, there's no reason to, um, to uh, strain our brains trying to connect up these tracks. Once we get, once we get, uh, like, stairs and bridges and all that good stuff, we'll go ahead and uh, worry about that. But for right now, this is good. There we go. Spreading, uh, sparkles and joy. And that just means that, um these people can uh, kind of weave their way in and out of the crowds. And I'm going to look forward to when there is a slider for, um, for the trash bins and stuff. I don't mind. I don't want them to it drastically different, but if it could, if, um, they just started emptying the trash just a little bit sooner, I would be very happy with that. Because, uh, you see. And now she'll, once they get that little icon over there, um, there's still a few pieces of trash left in there. Um, but they're very easy to overflow, and then they'll start stinking, and it's a mess. So, yeah. And we just have to ship. Oh, we, that's it. Yay. Well, we definitely want to play on. We'll go ahead and, uh, play to the end of the business day. And we'll go ahead and hire our staff. Phillips, go do that over there. Good job. Yay. It really helps if you have somebody with a megaphone on the platform when the train comes in to help get everybody out and people boarded. It works nice. And now let's see if we can have that trash empty. This station is pretty busy, I have to say. And let's look at our staffing options again. And we still have Lexi Lewis here. Let's go ahead and hire her. And 
We don't need, obviously we don't need her, but yeah. Let's get all of our things. All of our tools. There's nothing else that we can buy in infrastructure. Uh, yeah. Let's uh, see what else we have here. I'm not putting in benches because I don't think we need them for right now. Uh, and there's not much room. And I think that um, what they give us in benches, it, it's not worth it to uh, take away from the room. Let's buy everything that we can. Is that everything? I think it is. Okay, so we have all of the bonds earned. We purchased everything that we can. Uh, Lewis is our repair person. So let's put in the basic tools over here. One will want to give her another megaphone because everybody gets one, if at all possible. Then we want a jerry can to refill the generators, a tool kit, and let's put in a watering can. There we go. And Lewis, is there even any reason to? Let's have her pick up both of these items. We'll have her pick up the gas can first, and then the tools. And we need to purchase, what do we need to purchase? It looks like we need another wheelie bin. Because reasons and then a gas can. So there we go, we, uh, we have a nice little station here. We'll go ahead and uh, finish out the day. I'd like these little icons below their picture or along the side. And I would like this screen when you go ahead and open this up. Well, you kind of already have this here like the equipment slots, I'd like you to be able to like drag and drop and equip everything at once uh, from this screen. And then if you could have like little hats or jackets and that sort of thing, love I would love that as well. So let's, uh, let's get our closing routines done. It looks like we took care of the trash. Let's repair our turnstiles and that's working out great. Uh, I like our station, guys. I think we did a good job. And let's see. I look forward to... Um, we'll look at that in a second. Well, I don't even think we need to, do we? No. Let's get everything repaired. And then if we come back to this station... I learned my lesson. When we come back to this station, it's not going to be staffed. Um... So if you leave it in the middle of a busy day, it's going to be a nightmare. Uh, repair that. Repair that. Good. Is there anything else to repair? I don't think you can repair the trains, which is kind of disappointing. But it is what it is. I really know how to uh, to close out a video, don't I? Uh, this is strictly a hobby for me. I have no in, no desire to uh, monetize my channel at all. I play what I like, and it might be a very long time between uh, videos. So uh, yeah, it is what it is. Um, now, is that everything? We'll go ahead and well, it won't even matter. If we come back to the station, and I don't know that we will, we have plenty of time to finish their chores <laughs> uh, and water the plants. It, it will be extremely easy to call staff in and continue on with the station. So I think we left it in a good spot. Um, our reports, uh, it's overcrowded. Uh, but honestly, if when we open up the, the door tomorrow or the next time we play the station, we'll be up to 100 in no time. Uh, no doubt about it. Anything else that we can learn here from here? Needs, everything is good. Commerce. We sold 100 tickets, 17 newspapers, and 53 newspapers. I wish 
this is something that will need uh, to be addressed. Which one is papers number three? I bet it's on the platform because I probably put one in the lobby first and then on the platform. So that platform uh, newsstand sold really well. Yeah, okay, that is all. Let's uh, finish this up. Yay! Go to the map. Stare and wonder at our three stars. And yeah, that is going to be all for this episode. The next time we come back, uh, we'll go ahead and uh, move on to zone four, uh, which should be uh, probably just as quick as zone five. Uh, but maybe not. We will see. Uh, but that is all. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, uh, please leave a like. And if you're playing the game, let me know. Do you like it? Um, some people actually had the nerve to com complain about the uh, the sound effects, which I love and think it's a, it's a really strong point of the game. Uh, let me know what you think, and thank you again. Bye-bye.